Hey, right. Well, a very good morning to you all. I hope you're all well on this Thursday, the 19th of January, 2023. It's uh, 6.52 in the morning and I'm here with my 24-hour summary, looking at all the specifics that will be going into the weather forecast today. Well, changes are slow. We're still in the cold spell. And here in Folkestone this morning, we're actually quite a bit colder than some other stations locally. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll kick it off. Minus 2.7 here in Folkestone. If we run over to uh, Laysdown on the Isle of Sheppey, we're running at minus 1.3. If we go to Linsaw Bottom near Canterbury, bit of a frost hollow down there, minus 4.6. We head over to Faversham, we're running at minus 2.5. If we head over towards Bromley, over towards the southeast of London, northwest Kent, minus 1.9 over there this morning. And if we finish off at Tunbridge, minus 1.0. So perhaps not quite as cold as it was a couple of mornings ago, but that frost is fairly harsh and if we have a look around the uh the country at the moment top of the hots is as it usually is in this sort of situation the isles are silly at 5.6 uh, but yeah many of these stations in the top 20 can only be receiving between three and five degrees so it is cold and if you notice that these stations are out on western coastal locations where you're bringing in breeze off that atlantic the cold spots this morning are very cold again, minus four to minus eight. Anakmore is, I think, up in Scotland. It's a high altitude site. But if we come down to the lower levels, you've got minus six at Benson in Oxfordshire. Uh, you know, even places like um, Hearn, minus 4.1. And yet a good spread of very cold temperatures, more especially across northern and some eastern parts of the country. Right, we'll have a look at the radar as we usually do uh, here for the southeast of England, as we usually are in this uh, situation with a polar maritime dry based air mass. <clears throat> Excuse me, this always happens in this forecast. Um, we've got some wintry showers up in the northwest of England, but we're dry down here in the southeast. And if we take a look at the sequence, uh, or we should, let's say let's have a look at the cam at crew. It's a wintry morning. There has been some snow cover and many parts of inland Lancashire and Cheshire this morning have received some snowfall. And this is because these showers, they stream through uh, down the Irish Sea, through the Cheshire Gap. And then, yeah, they come ashore. They start off as green. This is the sleetiness and then red. They turn it into snow as you hit the cold air. But as I've mentioned, down here in the southeast is looking dry and it is looking fine with some sunny spells. But I will come on to the temperatures because it is a jolly chilly morning. So no prizes for guessing that we're still in this cold northwesterly air mass. The milder air out in the Atlantic is slowly but surely trying to push in. And if we run it forward to this time tomorrow morning, the status quo is maintained. That milder air is nearly reaching the western coast of Ireland, but it's a very, very slow process. And if you'd watched my forecast last night, where we talk about the 10, on the 10 to 14 day trends, high pressure will be developing over the country uh, this weekend, and it will be trying to repel that milder air. So it will be a slow old process. Let's now look at the ray, uh, at the loop, the see how it's gonna play out throughout the course of the day. So there's your showers, wintry showers, some snow over the northwest of England, but they push inland and they die out. And once again, it's a dry, fine and sunny day down here in southern England. Plenty of sparkling sunshine, alpine skies, all very pleasant for getting out in. And the light breezes, I'll come on to that again in just a moment before we draw it to a close. So that's the word for the day. Dry and sunny, a little bit of variable cloud around. And that's the way it remains overnight. Skies stay clear. Temperatures fall like a stone under those clear skies. And once again, we'll be sub-zero. So we wake up to tomorrow morning with clear skies and another fairly harsh frost. We'll have a look at the wind. So at the moment outside, no more than a light west northwesterly breeze. If we run that through throughout the course of the day, the breezes do stay light. In fact, they fall very light today. Uh, so if you've got some mist and fog around in some of those inland locations at the moment, could be a little bit slow to clear just due to the fact that there's not really enough breeze 
to be stirring it up and moving it out of the way. So light northwesterly breezes throughout the course of the day. Throughout the course of the evening and overnight, these breezes do pick up slightly. 10 to 13 miles an hour is a west northwesterly breeze coming in at full three. So I don't think temperatures will be quite as low tomorrow morning on account of this slightly more mobile breezy setup. But even so, a light northwesterly breeze is nothing really to nothing to worry about. We'll now look at the temperatures. So just to bring it all to a nice little close as we've seen out there this morning. Minus two, minus three covers it quite nicely around zero on those coasts. Morning temperatures do warm up slightly by nine o'clock. You're still minus one, minus two in many places, but by lunchtime, temperatures have popped up above zero, three, maybe four degrees is going to be your top temperature today. That's the 3 p.m. temperature, but once again, as that sun sets by six o'clock, the temperatures will be falling. By nine o'clock, they'll start edging away. And if we wake up tomorrow morning, we will notice, well, I'll say, if we wake up tomorrow morning, we'll all wake up tomorrow morning. Temperatures on here are recording minus one zeros those sorts of temperatures but i still think there'll be the odd minus two minus three tomorrow morning so that's it in summary i hope you all have a good day it's a it's a dry day plenty of sunny skies after that cold and frosty start temperatures getting up to around about three or four degrees in light west northwesterly breezes hope you've all enjoyed the forecast i'll be back again tomorrow morning but in the meantime all have a great day and chill for now